going on ladies and gentlemen today I'm gonna to talk about front squats and why I should be doing front squat squats <laughs> my bad why I should be doing front squats to make gains on your back squat to make gains in your quads and also to help you be more athletic you know what I'm saying stay tuned so basically front squats are more front dominant you know uh, you need a strong core to be able to do front squats uh, and front squats strengthen your quads you know what I mean so if you're a guy and you want bigger quads I definitely recommend front squats you know doing front squats will definitely make your quads bigger you know have the big old quads and you help you actually help your back squat too um, yeah so back squat is more backside dominant you know more your lower back your ass uh, your handspring will, um, I guess, in the uh, well, what's it called? Uh, eccentric uh, movement, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, you'll be more back dominant, and the front is more front dominant. So, if you want to make gains in your quads, I definitely recommend front squats. Front squats also strengthen your core. Why? Because when you're holding, when you're holding weight up in front of you, the only reason the weight is still up is because you're contracting your your abdominals. So the core is definitely involved when you're doing front squats. You know, if you're doing it without a belt. If you're doing it without a belt, you're definitely using your core more so. If you know what I'm trying to say. And even doing back squats with no belt. Freeze. This does not mean you put on weight without a belt that I cannot control, guys. Extremely mandatory to remember. Which uh, uses your core also, your lower back and you know, all the way to your front core. Hey guys, I have a few tips to doing front squats. Okay, first of all, uh, your hips. You gotta make sure you warm up your hips really good before uh, doing any sets front squats. I recommend uh, warming up your hips, then doing back squat before trying to do the front squats. Okay, so that's tip number one. Uh, number two your grip make sure you're not death gripping it with your day life you know what i mean you want to grip it in a way that uh i guess your hands are loose so you want uh actually you want the bar to be just above your uh, upper chest uh closer to your neck and basically it has to dig it into your uh shoulder a little bit you know, you see how people do, uh, for example, no hand front squats. It's because the bar is in a certain position. So make sure the bar is in that position, and then kind of just have your hands there as guidance. Okay, and uh, you want to make sure your elbows are really high up. You know, because if they're low, you you uh, I'll show you a clip of how uh, the bar will just slip. You know what I'm saying? So you make sure your elbows are up. Make sure you're not death gripping it and make sure uh, to have it in a comfortable position before trying any sets of reps. Tip number three, you gotta make sure your hips are straight under the bar. You don't wanna be leaning too far forward or too far back. You just wanna be straight up. You know what I mean? Your hips are right under the bar. So picture it in a straight line. So the bar is here and your hips are perpendicular. So make sure your hips are under the bar. Number four, so when you're doing your first rep, so when you have it all set up and you're going down, on the way up, I want you to go, like, drive up as fast as you can. Why? Because once you start doing uh, heavier weights, the longer you are on the bottom, the harder it's going to be to, you know, shoot up. So you want to uh, practice with lighter weight uh, to squat up explosively. You know, and, and that as doing it in that way will also improve your athleticism. So you want to calm down and then shoot up as fast as you can. You know what I'm saying? Number six, guys, front squats. You want to make sure you have a strong core before trying any heavy weights. I recommend you doing core at least once a week, like I said in my previous videos. You know, do some core. You do your justice. Core will help your bigger lifts do core please you can get yourself hurt if you don't have a strong core trying to do heavy weight on front squats so i recommend you do core please and thank you number seven 
Guys, when you're doing your sets and reps, make sure you're breathing. Don't hold your breath <laughs> and go down and expect to come back up. You got to breathe. So you hold your breath in on the way down and then the way up you, you breathe out. You need to breathe, man. You need to supply your muscles with oxygen. You're holding in your breath. You're not doing the muscles any good. So breathe, breathe in and out. You know, breathe, hold it in, and then on the way up, breathe out. That that create that generates power. You know, I'll I'll have a link uh, in the description benefits of breathing when you're working out. You no know, breathe, don't hold your breath. Right, now I'm gonna give you guys three tips on how to increase your front squats. So first tip. Uh, you guys can try uh, pass uh, front squats. I know I said before uh, you go down and then come up as fast as you can, but now I want you to go down, pass, and then come up as fast as you can. So that's one way to improve your front squat. Number two, rack front squats. So you're gonna set uh, the safeties on the side, right? Uh, to where when you, you're uh, going down the front squat, it's uh, at a level that's high enough that won't get you hurt and that you can squat back up with your butt being below parallel. So racks, I can show you guys an example uh, like soon, like in the, there'll be a clip to show you what I'm doing. So basically the bar will be on the rack and you pause for a second and then you're gonna shoot up. So that's number two. And the last one, the last one, number three, confidence. No confidence. Confidence comes from uh, repetition after repetition after repetition. Guys, if you do front squats enough, you're gonna improve your front squat. And if you do it enough also, every time you come back to do it, you feel better about doing it. Therefore, you're improving. So, guys, if you want to make gains in any muscle, you have to do it more frequently. You have to do it enough where your confidence level goes up, allowing you to try uh, new things, you know, heavier weights, more sets, more reps. You no, know, but confidence is a big one. This should have been number one, to be honest. Yeah, confidence. Do it enough and you'll see the gains and your confidence will shoot up. So that's it, guys. So that's it for the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. So. Uh, share this with your friends, you know, I know uh, people will get some sort of benefit from it and uh, Subscribe to my channel, you know to see when I post my stuff, you know I'm still new to this getting better by every video I make and uh, yeah, so make sure to like share subscribe and uh, Guys, I am out See you guys next video Peace